More details tonight as crews in Wayne Township are asking for your help to find the people responsible for setting two fires at two houses just a couple of blocks apart. The arsons happened on Friday and Saturday. RTV6 reporter Katie Hines joins us live to explain how the crimes affect an entire community. Katie. Arson is a growing problem here in Wayne Township. The fire captain tells us his department responded to 15 arsons last year, but firefighters here have already responded to 21 this year, and that is with four months left to go. The fire captain tells us that arsons are costly to the entire community. You can still smell smoke outside of this house on South Fleming Street. I saw the flames shoot up and I says, oh my God, I said the house next door is on fire. The sirens woke up Mary Gentry around 2 o'clock Saturday morning. Awful close to home. The flames spread quickly. It took multiple crews one hour to get the fire under control. The whole building was consumed in fire pretty much when our responders arrived on the scene. The house, barn, and attached garage, all vacant, are now a complete loss. And so is this vacant house on Rowena Street. Firefighters responded here early Friday. Investigators determined both fires were deliberately set. When they go on a fire that's been set, uh, many times there are things uh, in these fires uh, that our firefighters can face that you wouldn't find in a normal fire. Uh, there could be everything from uh, booby traps uh, to the whatever's been used to start the fire can cause the fire to burn even more intensely. Wayne Township Fire Captain Mike Pruitt says arsons present a greater danger to his crews than regular fires. Arsons also put nearby houses at risk and they create another danger to the community. When our firefighters are responding on these calls, especially in like two vacant homes that have been set on fire, um, there are other emergencies going on in our township. The U.S. Fire Administration reports an estimated 16,800 fires are intentionally set in residential buildings each each year. 41% of those occur in vacant buildings, and the loss to property nears $600 million. This is to cover up another crime uh, for profit or revenge, and the amount of property damage, potential injury, and, and loss of life is significant. Captain Mike Pruitt tells us that his department hasn't received any tips on the arsons. That's why they're offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who might have any information that could lead to an arrest. Just call the Wayne Township Fire Department. That number up on your screen now, 317-247-8501. Reporting live, Katie Hines, RTV6.